All right, this video is going to demonstrate aging reports and matching your GL accounts. So I'm going to pull up my financials first so we can see what the balance is. I want to do my accounts receivable. And so we see it's 209-803-35. I'm going to open this up so I have all my detail. And there I have it right there. Okay, so let's go to business partners and business partner reports, aging, customers, receivable aging. Okay, and I'm going to do today's date, make sure everything matches, and sure enough it does. 209, 803, and 35 cents. So we're all good there. But what I want to do now is demonstrate if you're going to be doing one for the end of a uh, month. So let's do March 31st. 0331. I hit the tab. Puts in the year automatically. Run the report. And it's 139.42. To see where I was in my GL account uh, on the 31st, I'm going to scroll up. I guess I better move this over so we can see. All right, here's the 31st. So what I'm looking for is 236,784. That's what my balance was in accounts receivable. Hmm, I'm 139,42. I'm off by over a hundred thousand dollars. This is what we need to do. There's been postings to our business partners' accounts. Some of them may have a zero balance. So if we check this box here, display customers with zero balance, we're also going to display the reconciled transactions. They're going to be included in the aging report. So we run the report now. Our balance due 236,784.81 matches what our GL balance was on the 31st. So if you're going to run reports to match up a given period of time, if it's in the past, it's not current, make sure you check these two boxes and your balances should come out the same. Yeah, that's it for now. Thank you.